letter from his daughter. Coachman Ali was a clever hunter. Hunting was an obsession with him. He had a good aim and a good sight. Later in his life, Ali left his old ways and suddenly took a new turn. His only child Miriam got married and left him. No news of Miriam had come for the last five years. Ali suffered from the pangs of love and separation. Ali concluded that love was the basis of life and separation was inescapable. Ali gave up hunting. He didn't enjoy the joy of killing and the separation of a young animal from his parents. Ali always expected a letter from his daughter Miriam. The post office became a pilgrimage for Ali. He was always the first to reach the post office in the morning. He always returned empty-handed. The postmaster and other postmen laughed at Ali and thought him to be a madman. They made a game of him and enjoyed the fun of Ali's running here and there to get a letter. One day, Ali asked the postmaster if any letter had come from Miriam. The postmaster lost his temper and insulted Ali by calling him a pest and even asked him to go away. Tears of helplessness rolled down Ali's eyes but he didn't lose hope of getting a letter from Miriam. He gave five gold coins to one of the clerks, Lakshmi Das, and requested him for placing Miriam's letter on his grave when he received it. Some days later, the postmaster's daughter fell ill in another town. He was anxiously waiting for news of her. The postmaster didn't receive any letter from his daughter on that day. He did receive a letter, but it was Miriam's letter addressed to her father Ali. Now he felt the sympathy for Ali and realized how a single day's wait for his daughter's letter made him so anxious and nervous and how Ali had been waiting anxiously to receive a letter from Miriam for the last five years. The postmaster decided to give that letter to Ali himself the next morning. At five o'clock in the morning, the postmaster heard a light knock at the door. He found Ali standing outside. He looked very old and weak and tears were still wet on his face. The postmaster gave the letter to Ali. Ali disappeared. Just then, Lakshmi Das came inside. The postmaster told Lakshmi Das that he had been talking to Ali. Lakshmi Das told the postmaster that Ali was already dead. A postman who was standing there told them, that Ali had died three months ago. The postmaster couldn't decide. Had he actually seen Ali? Had his eyes deceived him? The next evening, the postmaster and Lakshmi Das went to Ali's grave. They placed Miriam's letter on Ali's grave.